Based off the title today, we're doing another pro player tip video. And of course, why pro players keep killing you. Now, if you ever played against a pro player before, you understand how difficult it can be to kill them sometimes. And we're going to go really in depth. So let's do it. And I know what some of you guys are going to say. I played against pro players before, man. Like, I played against Simp, bro. I was killing him, man. He wasn't that hard. And yes, you might have been playing a fake Simp, first of all. That's number one. Maybe you weren't. You never know. But you're probably playing a fake Simp. Second of all, um, I, like just like myself, I don't always take CDL plays serious. When I do, I drop a 2.0 and I absolutely fry the team. When I'm chilling and just like shooting my gun and like just running around, I do get killed sometimes. It's normal. But we're going to get straight into this video, guys. Make sure to drop that like if you enjoy it and subscribe to the channel. I think only 25% of you that watch my videos are subscribed, so subscribe to the channel now. Okay, bye. For tip number one, what we're going to be talking about is going to be spawn knowledge and positioning. So spawn knowledge is a big factor. I'm sorry, team, I just killed you. It's a big factor when it comes to killing the other players, right? When you know the spawns, I kill everybody. I kill everybody. Give me all the kills. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, what the hell? They got behind us. When you know the spawns really well, you understand where they're going to be, how to position yourself, you know, what's your next move, and how to make it easier for you to get these kills. Obviously, if you don't know the spawns, then it becomes a little bit difficult. So that is a big reason why pro players are really good at setting themselves up for kills and like to do well, because we understand spawns very, very, very well. I don't know if this thing's gonna hit me. Okay, it actually is. Let me get out of here. So, what are some ways for you to learn the spawns? Well, there's there's a couple things you can do uh, to actually understand spawns better. One, you can play the game. The more you play the game, the more you start to notice these spawns. You'll be like, oh, okay, they spawn here. If I do this, or they spawn in this hill, they'll spawn here. So you start to learn the more you play and play and play. But there is a little bit more of an efficient way to learn spawns. Also, what you can do is actually either watch some tens or watch CDL matches. And the Codcaster is enabled. Codcaster is very important. And you watch the minimap. And you see every hill where the players are spawning, like what's happening. You know, you know, like you just see every single spawn. And you just got to keep learning and keep studying it until you really get a hang of it, okay? <clears throat> so those are basically the two best ways to learn the spawn system. It will take time to really, you know, learn everything about it. Um, even like to this day, there's still like these random little spawns that I still not familiar with because it is modern warfare uh it is a little bit inconsistent but spawns man knowing spawns boy oh boy every game um sometimes it can be the difference between me performing good or doing horrible when i don't know the spawns so you got to know the spawns man you really do i'm frying why am i frying because i'm frying for the ad pack baby oh enemy shoot you buddy i'm frying baby i'm on the crack i'm crack drop that light <laughs> please so yes that's a big tip that's my tip number one spawns but what goes to spawn knowledge is also positioning you need to have good positioning on the map and based off the hill based off the situation you got to position yourself ready to get some kills so just like how i am top mid right now it is the p5 hill i know they're spawning in the back here there's a the guy right here oh hello no oh so let's use some examples right now um they're basically spawning out mid here because my teammates ran through the back they're gonna be either mid or in the back i think the guys ran past me you did i'm gonna kill him so right here they should be spawning in the back but my teammates as soon as my teammates pushes that out their means are spawning in the middle so now they should be spawning out behind us there they are and look at that space off my launch i'm able to get two kills out maybe could have been three if i was paying attention but that's where the spawn knowledge really takes uh, takes effect, right? Like, you know exactly where they're going to be, and you're able to react and get yourself some more kills. So right now, I get a crane spawn or a barber spawn. That means there's going to be top mid, and they're going to be construction. So I'm actually going to go for this guy top mid, because this guy is really annoying. I want to kill this kid. Now the rest should be construction here. I'm going to hold across, so maybe I'll be able to get a kill. This is a better position with an AR, because you can easily beam people across to the hill. But just like that, I'm able to get another kill based off the knowledge. I mean, obviously, you can say, oh, he's just watching over the hill. They're going to hit the hill. But it's just knowing these little things, man, will really help you get these extra kills. And this is why pro players keep killing you guys. You know, it's like something I've noticed is that uh, some players like I've played against and like people who are pretty good, like have good gun skill, have good movement, but they just lack everything else. They lack the, the patience the spot the knowledge you know they just like other stuff that doesn't help them get kills where a pro player does something completely different and will kill you more than likely 
So hand in hand, that goes, like I said, with positioning right here. I'm positioning myself to get spawn kills and to kill more people. Um, usually they, they spawn in that cubby, but I think we spawned them out completely. Yeah, we did. Oh, this guy is, uh, we're playing whack -a -mole. playing whack -a -mole. Okay. That's a, that's a, that, that's a stun. So guys, spawn knowledge and positioning very, very crucial when it comes to getting more kills and why pro players kill you. Uh, they basically go hand in hand. So that's why I did a very depth in this explanation and I just team killed my teammate. No worry, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll take revenge. I'll avenge you. So based off the spawn knowledge, just to recap real quick, uh, position yourself very well to get more kills and kind of find out where they're going. And it goes hand to hand. Like if you know where they're going to be on certain hills, where people usually are, you position yourself to try to get those kills. And just having all that knowledge is very, very, very important. And it's a big reason why pro players tend to kill you. Uh, they usually out position you and know where you're spawning so they're able to react better than you so that's a big 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 thing but let's go to the next tip tip number two because remember it is three pro tips so the next thing we're going to be talking about in tip number two is cameraing people and catching players off guard so something about pro players is one we're very confident in our gun skill and we understand situations where you know maybe you are at a disadvantage uh maybe you're weak and you need to challenge the person right away and you'll catch your opponent off guard and that's something a lot of players uh don't expect so let's say you're playing like cdl playlist you know you're one shot you just challenge the second guy right away and he's like what the heck and you just kill him freely he doesn't even have a chance to react and that goes hand in hand with camera and people uh i don't know if you ever watch pro players play or if you watch me play but we try to camera people a lot of the time uh basically if you don't know what cameraing is i've made a lot of videos on that <laughs> in my youtube in the past um and it's, it's a very, very big thing in the game, especially with online Call of Duty. Normally with cameraing, what you want to do is you want to come around a corner very fast. You can slide cancel corners like this. Uh, you can just sprint out a corner really fast. You could just jump out a corner like this and challenge really fast. And it's essentially very hard for people to react. So you could just abuse this mechanic in the game and just in Call of Duty in general. So camera people and catching them off guard, it takes a little bit of practice and understanding what to do in certain situations because you shouldn't just do it every life and every time. Go, 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 go. Just challenging out. Dad, I have a trophy. Dad, I'm so much I shoot me from the top mid. You got to win that. I got three. No, maybe I shouldn't have moved. It's one guy hill. It's one guy hill. Teammate, go, 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 go. Oh, I spawned you. They have to contest this. They have to contest this. I'm on you. There's one guy right now. Did you see me? Oh, now he saw me. Oh, they saw me. Toby! Toby! Had caught him off guard right there. Easy camera. Um, very easy. Whoa! Teammate got off the hill. They're, they're, they're trolling me, right? Oh my god. Why'd you get off the hill? Oh my god, they might be in the back. I'm laying down here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 52 bomb, baby. He got 52 kills. Holy shit. Oh, right, man. Sure we'll continue no to tip videos in the next map, bro. Yeah, I had to yeah. clutch up real quick for you guys, man. I cannot, I couldn't lose this thing, man. All right, guys. So we are playing Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare tends to do things like, well, let's just play the same map again. So we got some more. Ru Whoa, I got to watch this. I got to watch this. This was a G-Nade. Maybe he accidentally did that. So we are back in Ramaza, but don't worry. This is an uh, informative tip video. So it's actually more important. Uh, just talking about the tips then versus actually rather the gameplay yeah slide cancel that do not jump shot that slide cancel that so there you go that's some camera action right there this guy was a free kill you can see uh we're continuing with tip number two here uh camera people obviously very 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 important catch people off guard because well you can do that it's, you can do that especially in modern warfare i'm actually gonna get off the hill because i'm trying to demonstrate you guys some so we're going to put tip number one with tip number two here. So right here, my teammates are all hitting the back, but they're still going to be spawning in the back here. So that's the knowledge that I know. I'm going to go ahead and push through this old hill. There's a guy here. I don't know where. He's above me. I'm just going to chow the back. This guy knows I'm here. Hit him with the burger walk. He's not going to expect it. And right here, I think we got all the kills. So now I know they're spawning mid. I'm going to turn around middle. Right nade. And my teammates have front. So we right here, we have a good setup. I know they're still there. They're still spawning in that mid earth curve area. And basically, I'll spawn. I'm going to be able to react to what I want to do next. I know they're still spawning there. So I'm going to look at the sandbags. You could always nade it too. There could be a guy low here. So I'm going to throw a flash. 
But I do have to get to the hill because if I don't get to the hill, my teammates might get overwhelmed. So right here, he's gonna. I'm gonna let him hold the IV. And based off like what they were doing and kind of the map, I know what I'm gonna do next. And you just take your challenges. Like I said, you try to camera people sometimes. Um, you just try to abuse this. Caught off guard, bam. I'm one shot. Right there, one shot, right? Like, oh, he's not gonna challenge that. Or I have a free kill. Instantly, instantly go for the camera, jump up. I'm on a head glitch, you know, those those increase my odds of getting the kill. So I just go for the challenge right away and kill him. All right, well there, I just got shit on. Well, I kind of missed some shots. I was not on point, say that. So when you wonder why pro players keep killing you, that's a big reason, man. We just catch you guys off guard. Uh, we're really good at cameraing people. Uh, obviously, we have to practice it because every pro player does it. So you, you play against pro players to do it, so you got to do it back, man. That's that's what it's about. All right, watch this. Three, oh, three, two, one. Still there? Come on, brother. You can't camera apathy. Come on, brother. I'm Mr. Camera, brother. Hello. Oh, as are those. Hit him with the burger walk right there. Hit him with the slide cancel snap on. Yup. Camera. That guy just got camera. That second guy got super camera. Like if I just would have walked towards him, he, he probably would have killed me. But nope. Not today, buddy. Slight cancel. That's why slight canceling is very important. You want to slight cancel a lot of places. While you're maneuvering around the map, you want to slight cancel. Um, basically, corners and shit. Because it's going to help you get more kills, man. It's going to catch people off guard. It's going to mess up their shot. And it's just going to it's gonna help a lot. So, like, if I would have just ran out and walked there, I'm dead. But since I went for a slight cancel, it forced him to miss some shots. And I was able to react in time with some nice shots and movement. And I was able to kill him. Here, I'll help you, buddy. These guys are bullying you over here, man. I wonder if he's gonna kill me. No, if he's gonna leave me alone. No, you're not leaving me, bunny. You're not leaving me, bunny. So right here, they're spawning there. Yep. In the back. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, but I just went for it. All right, guys. So that's enough for tip number two. I'm sure you get an understanding. Like I said, I've made in-depth videos before about cameraing and stuff, so you understand how important it is. Now we're gonna go with tip number three. A very important tip, yet this is the most kind of common sense tip, you know, in a sense. Uh, we're going to be talking about basically having a precise shot and having really good movement. It is essential and really important when pro players and why pro players keep killing you because we have those really good stuff. And like I said, I played against players before, like other other players in CDL players and my sub 10s and just random things that actually have good shot and have good movement. So it's not impossible to have. So there's various ways to improve your, first of all, your shot. Obviously, you can lower down your sense. Don't plan on such a... All right, con dog, you're beast, man. You can lower down your sense to a more stable sensitivity. Um, you can obviously practice your shot, play a lot. I think playing the game a lot is very important when it comes to having a better shot. This guy, they're probably gonna spawn behind me, so I'm gonna turn around here. Like they should actually spawn on me. So, so like I've always recommended, either playing the game a lot or going to a bot lobby, shooting 500 to a thousand bots. Um, that can help you a ton. Oh my god, like the way I almost just snapped on that guy, that would have been dirty. I'm obviously watching a lot of YouTube videos. Like I made videos on, on the pat in the past, like how to have a better shot or how to improve your aim. Uh, all these things are very like important and essential when it comes to you know having a better shot. And I think it's very important. And it, it's just a big reason, you know, like the video says, why do pro players keep killing you? Well, it is part of the reasons why pro players keep killing you. But it's very important, man. Very, very, very important to have good movement, have precise shots. Um, it will help you obviously kill pros and it's usually the way the m most ways I die right when I play against someone who actually can shoot back pretty well um, Sometimes I'll die to him and it, it just happens man and There's nothing you can do about it because it's Call of Duty at the end of the day, you know It's not some crazy like you have to control the recoil. It's so hard You have to try so hard to re control this recoil man. You know, it takes so much skill No, it's freaking Call of Duty modern warfare most guns shoot straight don't really have much of a recoil pattern and you can get like if you play a lot if you if you put the right settings and you grind you can have a good shot it's not difficult at all but then the next thing is having a good movement and having a good movement can be a little bit difficult at times but just with anything and like anything you just got to practice practice your movement you know you want to have better movement you want to not slight cancel better all these things like you got to practice 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 makes perfect so guys these are three biggest reasons why pro players keep killing you uh, just to recap real quick spawn knowledge and positioning obviously was the number one tip which was probably the most important or one of the most important then you have tip number two which was cameraing 
and just catching you off guard um big another big another reason and third reason which is a little bit more obvious but it's the last reason why obviously because it is part of the video it's just the precise shots that pro players have the precise aiming and the movement very very good movement let's just end this game right here guys i hope you enjoyed today's video man had some dominance and some fun and just give you guys some tips like i always say don't forget to like the video it helps me out a ton don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm gonna treat keep trying to pump out some content i do appreciate you guys man hope you guys have been enjoying the videos i know some videos are really good some videos are average but i'm trying my best to you know keep providing content especially on modern warfare you know i'm just ready for the next cod but we gotta wait a little bit longer so it's all good it's all good baby